Jaron Boots Ennis versus Custillo Clayton. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So this fight between Ennis and Clayton is scheduled for 12 rounds in the welterweight division to take place this coming weekend, this Saturday on the 14th of May in the undercard of the rematch between Jermel Charlo and Brian Castaño over at uh, in Carson, California, USA at the Dignity Health Sports Park uh, to be shown live on Showtime. So tune into Showtime if you want to see this fights. Uh, Ennis versus Clayton will be the co-feature, the co-main event. So um, mark it down your calendars. Uh, if you want to see this fight. May 14th is a busy day of boxing, by the way. Very, very busy day of boxing. So anyway, the winner of this fight will determine who is the who will be the next mandatory challenger for the IBF welterweight belt. And if we look at the 147-pound uh, division right now, the IBF uh, welterweight title is currently held by Errol Spence. Um, he is now the unified three-belt world champion holding the IBF, WBC, WBA, just one belt away from being undisputed to fight uh, one more fight away, which is uh, by, uh, the belts held by uh, Terence Crawford, the WBO. So the hope is for Spence and Crawford to fight each other and eventually Ennis to fight the winner of that fight. Ennis, in my opinion, I've said this before and I'll say it again, he is one of the future stars in the sport of boxing. Uh, currently uh, 24 years old, still very young uh, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. He's going to be around for a very, very long time. 28 and 0, 26 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. Last year, he fought Sergey Lipinets and Thomas Delorme, two fights where he won by knockout. And now here he is fighting in his 29th professional fight against Gustillo Clayton, a 34 year old fighter from Canada. Undefeated as well, 19 and 0, one draw, 12 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. His one draw came from Sergey Lipinets, who is their common opponent. And uh, he struggled with minutes. It was a close fight. I actually thought um, Clayton won that fight, if I remember correctly. I had Clayton winning that fight, uh, but the judges ended up having having it a draw, and um, you know he was able to get an easy win uh, late last year. And now here he is fighting Jaron Boots Ennis. Now it's a fight between two undefeated fighters. Someone's O has got to go, and that O that will remain and stay is the O of Jaron Ennis in my opinion honestly I think he'll dominate this fight I think he'll go out there and and win it very convincingly whether it's by TKO knockout or by decision um, I'm not saying that because I think Clayton is a horrible fighter because he's actually a, a pretty good fighter in my opinion it's not bad it's just that Jaron Ennis in my opinion is just levels ahead in terms of speed boxing IQ power reflexes defense I just I uh, that's how good I think Jaron Ennis is he is truly one of the next pound for pound guys in the sport of boxing and the next to take over once Crawford and Spence are done with the division I think Ennis is the man that will take over the uh, 147 pound division and uh, I think he'll show in this fight how dominant he'll be and I think that's what he plans to do, actually. I think he wants to go out there and destroy Clayton. And I think he will. I think he, he will. I think Clayton will show a lot of heart and determination. Um, I, I just think the skills just... There's, there's, just a, there's, there's, levels, there's levels in the sport of boxing. And I think Ennis is just levels ahead compared to Clayton. In my opinion. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. Anything is possible in the sport of boxing. I just truly believe in Ennis' uh, skill set. That he will go out there and uh, really dominate the fight. If it's by TKO or knockout, I say in the middle rounds, 5 6. If it goes to distance, I say Ennis wins the fight 11 rounds to 1, 12, uh, 10 to 2 in favor of Ennis if it goes to distance. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.